good morning everyone or good night or evening afternoon wherever you are it's actually night right here it's pretty much almost 11 o'clock at night so uh if i sound a little out of it that's definitely why very tired gotta work tomorrow but i really wanted to finish this for sunday so this video has taken me not too long to edit, but it took me about six hours to actually do this house. So it is safe to say this is the most in-depth or the most detailed, probably more of the interior that I've ever done. <laughs> Honestly, this house took so long like compared to usual. I did start doing another house recently too, which has been taking quite a while, even though it's, I guess, kind of a smaller house, but I had a lot of fun with this house and I really wanted it to be big and really cool and stuff because this is going to be the house for my new LP coming up, which is the Get to Work Twins LP. And I'm really, really excited for it. It's two twin girls and then their parents, who one's a scientist, one's a doctor. And I think it's going to be really sweet. So they're very, um, very modern, but they have like, um, uh, they have a formal living room and music area, and then they have, you know, their TV room and huge kitchen and dining area, and each of them have their, has their own bedroom, so I think there's three bedrooms and, like, four or five bathrooms. There's, like, a hell of a lot of bathrooms, <laughs> and then there is a study as well, which actually I may convert into a more of, um... More of like another bedroom later because in the LP, I might want the parents to have another kid, like a younger boy or something, just so, I don't know, that adds some like more depth to the LP and stuff, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I haven't even started filming the LP yet, so who knows what's even going to happen at this rate, but I had a lot of fun making this house. It took bloody forever. And as you can see, this is a 40 goddamn minute video. So there's no way in hell I can talk for this entire video. I would probably die or just be sitting here in awkward silence half the time or humming and hawing trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to talk about. But it is a very modern house. I gave them lots of outdoor seating. And I think it's kind of cool what I did with the second floor. The second floor only has one stair set of stairs up to the second floor. But the second floor actually is not linked. So you actually have to go through outside to get to the other part. So in real life, you know, you know. Probably wouldn't like that, but this is The Sims world, so you can pretty much do whatever we want since there isn't any weather. So, yeah, they have a lot of outdoor seating and they have a big pool, as you can see. And I really went with my usual colors on the outside and I did go back and fix some of the colors and stuff later. I did this video in I think like three or four different parts. So I think the first part, which is mostly just the exterior build and the layout of the house, took about probably an hour and a half, two hours. And then the second half is a lot of us more decorating the outside and fixing up some stuff on the outside, changing wall colors and stuff. And then it's all the furnishing, <laughs> so it took me like two and a half hours to furnish like just the bottom floor, and I don't think that even included the girl's bedroom on the bottom floor, so holy crap, it took a while, <laughs> and then in the third part, maybe there are only three parts, then I think in the third part, I did all the bedrooms and all the seating areas and the upstairs and all the bathrooms and stuff, so yeah, that's how it went, but anyway. I'm not sure exactly how the video is going to turn out just because my iMovie is being kind of weird right now, but I hope everything works out and this video will come up all nicely and it can be just like a nice fun video full of music with the speed build because for some reason iMovie is not actually giving me playback right now while I'm filming or filming, yeah, I guess, recording the audio for the video. For some reason, it's not playing back the video. So I'm just kind of guessing by the little thumbnails where we are in the video. So 
Sorry about that. This house was kind of inspired by one that I f saw on Google. I do have a house inspiration folder on my desktop, not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's mostly full of, filled with modern houses because I am a big modern house fanatic. And the other one that I'm working on right now too, which has been taking quite a while, it may or may not also be a modern house, but it's al also three levels, which is the most amount of levels I've done yet. And it's a little different. Originally, it was supposed to be more of like, um, more of like an apartment almost, or like a really, like a more narrow home, kind of like you'd have it on like a street in a city somewhere. But that totally ended up not happening. So <laughs> it's a little bigger than I expected it to be. But it also does fit on the more narrow 30 by 20 lot, which I usually try and do my houses on because most people use 20 by 30 lots because they're cheaper. And oh my god, don't even look at the price of this house. You will need free real estate for it. It is like 300, 400,000. Like, it's freaking insane. I did not expect it to be that much, but I think the furnishing threw it way over the top. It's probably not near that expensive unfurnished, but... All right, I think I'm running out of stuff to mention here, so I'll probably just let you guys go with the music for the next while, and I may come back in to talk about some other stuff like the furnishing later, just because I want to describe more about the girls and the upcoming LP, and I want to describe the different room designs to fit the character kind of thing. And then I'll definitely come back for the screenshots. So I will talk to you guys again in a minute. So I hope you enjoy the music.
disinterest draws me in I'll soldier on till you begin I lay awake, eyes wide Euphoria needles all inside I'm high and low Down from the ceiling floating I hate to be this girl She is sleeping Soundly far below And I'm cold again I am a stranger in this room With its heat that doesn't stay And my snow tracks away from you They get deeper every day Below I'm high and low Down from the ceiling floating I hate to be this girl She is sleeping Soundly far below And I'm driving home Soreness in my eyes Sun is hanging cold in the January sky starting my computer and fiddling around with iMovie. For some reason, it's not showing me playback while I'm recording audio or when I'm not recording audio, except for if I speed through it myself, so I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll just, you know, talk briefly about the different rooms and such, and like, this is the kitchen here right now that's going on, and I actually really, really like this kitchen. I was trying to go for like a dark, ultra-modern kitchen and I did the island a different color but still the same sort of um same sort of whatever it's called not a cabinet ah oh, counter I don't know why I can't think of it it's too late for this but <laughs> all right and yeah I liked how I did around the uh around the fridge there as well with all the cabinetry and stuff I don't know I just had a lot of fun with this kitchen I really have not actually done many cool kitchens, I guess, yet. I've been really addicted to using, like, the same red cabinets, and I really need to stop. I need to get away from it. So I tried to do something a bit different, but still kind of my style with the dark and the industrial sort of look, and it's a very, very big kitchen. Like, this is, like, a dream kitchen for, like... 
you know, household cooks everywhere. <laughs> so it took a bit of fiddling to get the island the way I wanted it and the cabinets the way I wanted it. But I think it turned out pretty much perfect as to what I wanted it actually, which is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually, I don't know, I didn't know completely where I was going with it when I started, but then as I was going, I was kind of like, just ideas were just constantly coming to me, so I was pretty pumped, not gonna lie. I also did my typical lights under the cabinets just to light up the walls since they are a dark brick wall, and I put in some pops of color here after I put in all the sort of junk items around so I put in the pop a color in the bar stools and throughout the house I was just trying not to do too many neutrals because I feel like they're a pretty stylish dynamic family not that neutrals can't be stylish and dynamic but they're not as dynamic as saying having a purple wall or you know red chairs or whatever you know <laughs> So moving on to the dining room and living room here, you'll see me go through a couple pauses I think throughout the video because I actually kept stopping just to like think like oh, what do I want to do here? What color scheme do I want to go with? And so I went with the different colored chairs here in the end but originally I kept them all red and just going you know for a modern dining room and it looks so like a really nice dining room outside those windows too which is why i did the huge long row of windows to go to the outside and you know i'm putting up some paintings and knickknacks and stuff and then i went for a purple wall in the living room i think in the end but i went for a very modern furniture some navies and some whites and um big ass tv you know the huge Though originally, of course, in the living room, I do pretty much just do all white just because I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to do it. So the colors don't come in until, you know, like a minute into that because I was like, well, I want this furniture and I want this table, but I don't know what colors I want it to be. So there might have been some pausing too that I took out of this because there were lots of random pauses as I went through and decided what colors to make things and everything. So I think it turned out pretty good in the end though. It has a few different colors. I wasn't sure if the purple wall was going to clash with the navy, but I think it looks okay since it's not like right against it. I actually really wanted to figure out where to put a, um, a fireplace in here somewhere, so I didn't end up putting a fireplace in here, but I did find a place for it after, as you will see here in a little bit. But I definitely really liked this area of the house. Like, the kitchen is just my fave. <laughs> and then just, you know, ultra modern living room and dining room. And it's all open by these huge windows. And I love huge windows. Especially in modern houses. I probably could have put some more blinds up but I mostly just kept the blinds to the bedrooms and the curtains and such just because you know you don't really put too many curtains everywhere else in your house it's not like you're walking around naked all the time or I don't know maybe you are but maybe you're an exhibitionist I don't know <laughs> but you know if you're walking around naked in your house with all these windows you know and you don't have curtains up people are gonna look in but I assume you're not gonna do that so <laughs> I like all the big windows open anyway, and I didn't want to block them with a bunch of stuff, so it is a very open concept downstairs, very open and bright with the windows, and I didn't want to block all that natural light with some shitty little curtains, since we don't have the best curtains in The Sims 4. So as you can see here, I did find my little fire play spot and of course it would be an electric fireplace since there is no chimney or anything but I just decided to put that little feature wall in there I thought it would be a good break from the hallway and it kind of uh, busies it up a little bit and it gave me some spots for some little other decorative items my llama painting pop art painting and some bookshelves and such and yeah I went with some navy Couches, couches again, again because, because I want I wanted this to be more formal but still kind of flow with the rest of the main floor. So I went with navy couches and some whites and I did the black carpet and I did the bubble carpets or circle little carpets from 
get to work, but for some unknown reason, they just disappeared. Um, once I, like after a little while, you know, some items just disappear after a while. Well, a lot of the colors disappeared, a lot of them disappeared, so you may have to add them back in. I may have fixed them before uploading it to the gallery, but I'm not sure now. But, oh, of course, you can find this on the gallery at, um, by looking at my origin ID, and that is Catzilla7, or of course, you can look up the hashtag Arden Manor, which I will probably always put a hashtag by the name of the video. And then you can also search the hashtag, hashtag Catzilla Gaming, because that is the channel we are on. Any who's it's, I liked the sunken music room there. And I'm sorry if some of my audio is a bit off here from what I'm talking about. But as I was saying before, I can't actually see what I'm talking over. So I kind of have to scroll forward a bit, see what I need to talk about, go back and just kind of start talking about it and see where we end up. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little awkward, but so this bedroom is going to be Sky's bedroom, Sky Arden, and she is the rebellious one. She is the bad girl mischief maker, which will probably change when she becomes a young adult, but as a teen, she is going to be a little shit, and it's going to be so fun, and she's going to be the bad girl, and... So she kind of goes with some darker colors along with the white because basically Sky and Dahlia and then her parents, they're all actually from my book Sanctum. <laughs> and of course they don't look exactly the same or anything, but they have different elements in the book. So like, for example, Sky is ice and Dahlia is fire. So you will definitely see that reflect throughout the house. I have a very big theme going on here, mixing elements. So Skies is the sort of what you would say the ice bad girl room here. She can be the ice queen. There you go. She's the ice queen of Willow Creek, I guess. So super underwhelming, but... <laughs> Yeah, so I had some fun decorating her room. I kind of messed around quite a bit. And then in the screenshots, actually, her laptop, or not laptop, her computer ended up disappearing. And I'm not sure why, but I did go back and add that in. I know I remember to add that back in because when I was done the build, I actually got the Sims to go into their house. So, yeah, that actually is back there at least. So then, of course, she also has her little kind of semi-walk-in closet, and then I go right onto the bathroom, which is also very dark because she's the bad girl. And actually, I do all the bathrooms sort of dark just because I wanted them to be very sleek and very modern, like the outside of the house, but, you know, not the same style, more... I don't know. I don't know what, how to describe it, but you guys know what I mean. You can see it. You can see what I'm talking about. But I think this is the only other bathroom on the main floor, actually. And the other one doesn't have a shower or a bathtub. But the other one is more of just like, you know, you have people over, they can go use their bathroom without, you know, walking through all the bedrooms. So I think almost all of the bathrooms are like that, except for Dahlia's bathroom does have a door that goes out into the main hallway. So I think we're about done with Skye's bedroom and bathroom and her portion of the house. And then we move on up to Dahlia's room, which, as I said, fire. So she has red walls, which I do change the back wall to be just white plaster because I thought all red was a little too dark. It was a little too bad girl because Dahlia is the good girl. And I almost wanted to give her lighter walls, but then I was like, no, she's fire. She needs to have red walls. And I just love red wall so I digress and I also did end up making her room a little smaller because I realized holy hell this room is big and I also wanted to have like another bedroom if I could or a study or something so I ended up splitting off the end of her room there and like the you can see there's like a walk-in closet area I ended up splitting that off and making that a study and I can always convert it to a bedroom later 
But anyway, her bedroom is more classical instead of high modern, like high modern, almost industrial, like Skies is. So I wanted to make hers more like cool, older furniture, and she has a lot of blacks as well. But hers are a lot more almost like dainty and classic. But I don't know. I really like her room. I don't know which one I would like better, honestly, because I would be kind of a mix of the two. So. I don't know, but uh, let's see. Yeah, so Delia is the more goody girl. She is going to be good in school, and she's going to be active, and she is going to be ambitious, and I think she's going to end up being the one to open a shop when she becomes a young adult, whereas Sky is going to end up, you know, I don't know. This is like a thing that I find with some people, like, the bad boys or bad girls end up going and being, like, cops and being, like, in the military and stuff. So, Sky is actually going to end up being the detective later on. So, in my other Get to Work LP, you already see the, uh, the detective career. So, we probably won't go as into it in this LP, especially because they're only teenagers now. So, you won't see it until way, way later anyway, so. So again, dark bathroom, and you can access it from the little hallway out there, which is nice. And then I had a little bit of trouble picking the wall colors for the study, because I wasn't, sh basically, I picked a mauve color, and then I was like, oh, that's fine, that's cool. And then I was like, but I kind of want this, like, green colored desk. But mauve and green don't really look good together. So I had that bit of a struggle <laughs> for a while. And I did a sort of cool cabinetry thing on the wall that was inspired by the Sim Supply, I think or Simmer Deb, or The Tide's Changing, or someone who does really cool house builds and room builds. I'm sorry, I forget who did it, but they did a really cool, like, green and white sort of study, and that's what that cabinetry is from. It is definitely not of my own idea, but any who's it. I think it turned out okay, and it's a very simple room for sure. It seems to have a lot going on, though, and I kind of had fun throwing in some classical elements. Like, I feel like this is the study that the dad comes into, and, you know, he does his work and stuff from home, you know, some nights, and he has all of his classical stuff in there, and maybe Dahlia uses it every now and then when her computer's on the fritz or something. So then I originally didn't know what the hell I wanted to do in this little hallway area. So I ended up just making another seating area with a small TV because I didn't put a TV in any of the bedrooms. I used them more as like this is a sleeping area. This is like a, you know, workout area or this is like a study area and a computer use area. So you go watch TV out in the hallway or out in the living room or somewhere where there's other people. So I went with mauve here or like a plum purpley color. And I think it's such a pretty color. I don't know why I chose it. I just liked it. And then I kind of put the rest of the room just to go with that. Because I was like, oh, now I want to do this. Now I got to make everything else fit. So I ended up putting the brick on the back wall and the little TV and some a chess table and stuff. So it's a very simple, simple room. And now for the master bath, which I really like. And I went with some woods and such. And I really like how it turned out. Very spa bath and such. And long counters, huge mirrors. Very simple. And you have to actually go through the walk-in closet to get into it. There is no other entrance. So it is just for the parents and they have the hugest room in the entire place it could definitely have been made into more than one room this like area but I was like you know what this is gonna be like almost like the parents like studio loft like it's just for them it's their little hideaway from the kids they can 
get away from them or get away from the stress at the end of the day and they just have their own area where they don't have to listen to the girls bicker and they just have their nice little abode like if I was a parent I feel like I'd love that <laughs> they even have their own freaking balcony which I could have put a barbecue on but there's already a barbecue downstairs and I could have put a bar on but there's already one downstairs and I feel like it's more of a relaxing area. It's not really to host people. It's not really a party area. That's definitely more the pool area as the party zone. So for the master bedroom here, I really didn't know what colors to go with, but I ended up going a bit more classical since they are adults, so they're, you know, a bit older, and they have sort of like beigey light brown walls and some turquoise in there, and I really liked how the mirrors turned out. And I, you know, put some exercise equipment and some paintings, and like, this house is just like plant city like I did not realize how many freaking plants I put in this until like afterwards and I was like I need to freaking calm down like people don't have this many freaking plants in their house I don't have any plants in my apartment my parents probably only have two or three in the house like this is insanity who has time to water all of these but in this case I guess the Ardens are probably pretty rich so they could probably afford all of this and just have a maid to clean their entire house. And this is what, like our third sitting area, but I really wanted to make this more of a softer, less intensely colored area, I guess, because I feel like the whole house is very just bright color this, bright color that. So I was like, let's make something a little more soothing. Let's put some, you know, pastel pinky thing and some nice light wood and let's put some white couches and white things and nice serenity kind of place and put a tv so as i said this is a kind of a full studio loft for them all it's missing really is like a kitchen and dining room really but i like it i think this is probably the most serene little sitting area it's definitely very out of the way but god do they not need this many sitting areas in their house like I could easily have made this area like another bedroom or study or something but you know me I just don't feel like doing that apparently I'm sure at some point we will definitely run out this to add another bedroom in if they decide to have another kid because that child will need space somewhere so like I said very chill very relaxed outside area and finally are we going into the screenshots and I can see the screenshots. Yay, that's awesome. So that means we're almost on the video, which is sad, but at the same time, so much talking. You guys know I can't talk for this long. So we got a bunch of shots of the house. I love these screenshots. I really like this house. At the first, when I just did the outside, I wasn't super into this house. But then as I was like fixing it up the next day, you know, getting a second opinion on it, I was like, wow. This is a lot nicer than I thought, and I don't know, I just really like how it turned out, and I think I will really enjoy playing in this house, because I don't usually make a super, super cool house right off the bat to make, like, my characters play in. Usually, that comes later, after you, you know, make a bunch of money and buy a house and stuff. Like, I know in Sims 3, I was completely 100% by the book. I did not cheat at all. <laughs> so, like, this was a bit of a change for me. So, we did a lot of brick in this house, I see, and a lot of wood. And bouncing out to the terrace here, the nice party area. So, I really like this house now. And I really hope you guys do too. And for anyone new watching this, thank you for watching. Usually our videos are a little more put together than this. But unfortunately, I, uh, due to technical difficulties, I could not keep my talking on point. And we had a mix of songs in there to break up all the random bits that I just could not talk through because I cannot talk for 40 minutes straight like I can't believe I've been talking this long frankly and I think we're coming to the end here in a few so 
Before this ends, I would like to thank you all for watching. As usual, my name is Kat. I think I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Kat from Catzilla Gaming, and you can find me on Twitter and all the places down in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more build videos that I have on the way, more LPs, more fun stuff. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great week.